Hello Mila, hello Jack. Hello everybody else who's watching and welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is called Zebra's Hiccups. The animals love to play. Come and play, Zebra, they called. This is fun. No, thank you. I am busy, Zebra answered. He was a very serious and dignified Zebra. One day, Zebra got hiccups. Oh my, how extremely inconvenient, hick, he said to himself. I shall simply hick, ignore them and go out for a walk. Perhaps they will disappear. Hi there, Zebra, said Tiger. Good hick, uh, morning, hick, said Zebra. Hiccups, said Tiger. Don't worry, I know a cure. Hold your breath, close your eyes, and say the alphabet backwards. That sounds much too hick silly, said Zebra. Yoo-hoo, Zebra, called Miss Pig. Come skating with me. Good morning, Miss P, hick, said Zebra. Hiccups? asked Miss Pig. I know a great cure. Put your head between your knees and drink a glass of water upside down. No, hick, you, said Zebra. That is far too unhick dignified for me. Zebra's got hiccups, said Little Elephant. When I get hiccups, I stand on one leg and go, Doo -doo 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 as long as I can. Me too, grinned Big Elephant. But definitely not me, hick, said Zebra. Next, Zebra met Crocodile. Shoot baskets with me, said Crocodile. No, thank you, Croco, hick, said Zebra. Oh, oh, who has hiccups, said Crocodile. Here's a sure-fire hickety cure. Stand on your head, hold the ball between your legs and sing clickety-click. Works every time. I'm sure, said Zebra. Hick. Then something strange began to happen. The hiccupping began to move Zebra's stripes. The more he hiccuped, the more his stripes bumped together. Zebra never noticed. It was Mrs Duck who told him. Is that you, Zebra, she said. You do look strange. You mean hick sounds strange, said Zebra. It's hiccups. I mean look strange. Look at yourself, said Mrs Duck. Oh no, groaned Zebra. Just look at what's happened. I look ridiculous, my wonderful stripes. I should have tried the cures, said Zebra. What was it that Tiger said? I can't remember, hick. He hurried back to find Tiger. At Tiger's, Zebra took a deep breath, closed his eyes and said, said Y X V. No, W. Hick. Oh dear. Hick. I mean, Z Y X W V U T. Hick. R S. No, S R. Hick. Tiger chuckled, and Zebra opened his eyes. This will never work. He sighed. I'm off to try Miss Pig's. Hick. It's not funny, you hick. No. I think it's very funny, said Tiger. Wait for me. Miss Pig gave Zebra a glass of water and said, Head between your knees and drink this upside down. Zebra sat and drank and coughed and spluttered and choked and finally hiccuped. Hic absolutely hic hopeless and very messy, said Zebra with a little smile. Let's try Elephant's Cure. I'll help you, 
Zebra said little elephant, stand on one leg and toodaloo daloo daloo as long as you can. Zebra went toodaloo da hick, loo daloo hick, daloo daloo hick until the others laughed. Zebra grinned. Totally useless. Come on, hick. Maybe hickadal's clickety cure can stop these hickety hiccups. First a headstand, said Crocodile. Ball between your legs. Now sing. Zebra just laughed, and so did all the others. It doesn't work if you laugh, giggled Crocodile. I can't help hick it, said Zebra, and he fell over, still laughing. Mrs Duck came along to see what all the noise was about. He can't hick forever, she said. Then, keeping her voice low so that Zebra wouldn't hear, she told the others what to do. Zebra was recovering from laughing when he was drenched by cold water. Now that's not funny, he said. Not funny at all. But there was not one hick. The shock has worked. He's cured, said Mrs Duck. Hooray, shouted all the animals. But I do feel strange without my stripes, said Zebra. The cold water made him shiver. Then he sneezed, a huge sneeze. The sneeze did the trick. It shook the stripes back into place. Two cures in one, said Zebra. Thank you all. You've caught a chill, said Tiger. I know a great cure. So do I, so do I, the others all shouted together. And so do I, laughed Zebra as he waved goodbye to his friends. I wonder what we'll play tomorrow, he thought, as he hurried home to a hot bath, a hot drink and a nice warm bed. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.